Hidden deep beneath the waves of the Western Pacific lies the Marianas Trench, the deepest point of all the oceans. The signal came from 36,000 feet below the Pacific Ocean. At first, scientists thought it was an error, but the AI confirmed it was real. Deep within the crushing blackness of the Mariana Trench, it had detected a repeating geometric pattern stretching for hundreds of miles, something nature could never create. People were probably astounded by what they were seeing because clearly the ocean floor had enormous changes in relief. For the first time, an artificial intelligence has peeled back the secrets of Earth's deepest point. And hidden in that darkness, it found something that will not only rewrite our history books, but will also change our future forever. Echoes from the deep. For as long as we have stared at the stars, we've also wondered about the oceans. You see, while we've sent probes to the edge of the solar system, over 80% of our own oceans remain unmapped and unexplored. It's Earth's last great frontier. And at the heart of this mystery lies a place of legends, the Mariana Trench. Located in the western Pacific Ocean, it's a crescent-shaped canyon in the Earth's crust that plunges down to an incredible 36,000 feet at its deepest point, the Challenger Deep. To put that into perspective, if you were to place Mount Everest at the bottom of the trench, its peak would still be over a mile underwater. The pressure down there is over 16,000 pounds per square inch. That's like having 50 jumbo jets stacked on top of you. It's a pressure so immense it can alter the very chemistry of water. For decades, this extreme environment made exploration almost impossible. The first and most famous journey to the bottom was in 1960, when the submersible Trieste took two explorers into the abyss. They spent only 20 minutes on the seafloor, their view obscured by silt. Many people are crazy about the idea of what could be lurking down there. Since then, only a handful of missions have ever reached those depths. The thing nobody tells you is that even with modern submersibles, these missions are like trying to explore the entire United States at night with a single flashlight. The area is massive and the conditions are brutal. What many overlooked is that we were looking for the wrong things. We sent cameras looking for sea monsters, but the real secret wasn't a creature. It was the trench itself. This is where the game changes. A new mission, codenamed Deep Scan, didn't send people. It sent an autonomous underwater vehicle, or AUV, equipped with a revolutionary artificial intelligence. This wasn't just another submarine with a camera. This AUV was designed to do what no human could, map every single inch of the trench floor using a new form of ground-penetrating sonar and have its onboard AI, named Triton, analyze the data in real time. Triton wasn't just collecting images, it was learning, looking for patterns, for anything that didn't fit our known models of geology. For weeks, it silently glided through the crushing dark, its sensors painting a picture of a world no one had ever seen. Then it found something. But the AI's first alert wasn't about a discovery, it was about an impossibility. Grid of a thousand miles. The alert from Triton was flagged as a geological impossibility. The AI had been programmed with every known model of plate tectonics, volcanic activity, and natural erosion. What it was seeing on the seafloor followed none of those rules. To put it mildly, the science team was stumped. The data showed a series of perfectly straight lines intersecting at precise 90-degree angles forming a near-perfect grid, and you can see this everywhere in the data. This wasn't a small feature. The grid pattern stretched for over 1,500 square miles across the floor of the trench. Nature creates fractal patterns, jagged edges, and flowing curves. It doesn't create endless, perfect grids. The most shocking fact is the scale. Imagine a city grid larger than Los Angeles, not built on land, but etched into the deepest, most inaccessible part of our planet. The lines themselves were massive trenches within the trench each one about 300 feet deep and nearly a mile wide, carved into the basalt rock of the sea floor with a precision that suggested machining, not erosion. The human mind can't even process this kind of information quickly, but Triton could. The AI began a deeper analysis, using its advanced sensors to probe the rock beneath the grid. And that's when the second anomaly appeared. Beneath the grid lines, Triton detected a faint but consistent energy signature. It wasn't radioactive, it wasn't magnetic, and it wasn't thermal. 
It was a form of energy that we don't have a name for, pulsing in a slow, regular rhythm. It was like finding a heartbeat inside a mountain. The AI cross-referenced the signature with every known energy source in the universe, from quasars to cold fusion. There was no match. This was something entirely new, something alien to our science. Scientists were baffled. A man-made object would have been crushed to dust. A natural formation couldn't explain the perfect geometry or the strange energy. They were looking at something that, by all laws of physics and geology, shouldn't exist. What they discovered next would shatter our very timeline of existence. When Giants Walk the Earth With the discovery of the grid and the unknown energy source, the deep scan mission shifted from geology to archaeology, or more accurately, something far beyond it. The team needed to know how old this structure was. Using the AUV's drills, Triton managed to collect core samples from the rock around the grid lines. The results when they came back were mind-boggling. The rock layers above the grid were dated to be at least 10 million years old. Let that sink in. 10 million years. This means that whatever created this impossibly huge grid did so before the first ancestors of human beings even walked on two legs. This wasn't just pre-Egyptian or prehistoric. This was pre-human. The very idea is enough to break your brain. History as we know it only goes back a few thousand years. The most advanced ancient civilizations we know of, like the Sumerians, emerged around 6,000 years ago. But this, this structure was sitting at the bottom of the ocean when our distant ancestors were little more than apes. This is where all the official explanations fall apart and we have to start asking bigger questions. Who could have built this, and how? 10 million years ago, the continents were in different positions. The climate was vastly different. There's no known civilization, human or otherwise, that fits this timeline. Many people are now speculating wildly. Could it be the remnants of an alien outpost? A base established on Earth when the planet was young? Or even more chilling, could it be evidence of a native terrestrial civilization that rose and fell millions of years before us? A civilization of intelligent beings who are now long gone with this grid as their only tombstone. And you can see this everywhere in ancient myths, tales of gods who came from the sky, or stories of a world that existed before our own. What if those weren't just stories? What if they were the faded memories of a time when another intelligence shared this planet? The most shocking fact is that this structure isn't just old, it's still active. That pulsing energy signature Triton detected is proof. It's not a dead ruin, it's a machine, still running after 10 million years of silence. But if it's a machine, the real question is, what was it designed to do? A planet's cage. The team back on the surface was facing the single greatest discovery in history, and they were terrified. They had a 10 million year old, pre-human, continent-sized machine at the bottom of the ocean, and they had no idea what it was. So they tasked the AI, Triton, with one final mission to synthesize all the data, the grids lay out the energy pulses, the geological context, and formulate a hypothesis, no matter how outlandish. Triton worked for 72 straight hours running trillions of simulations. Its final report was just one sentence. The AI concluded the structure was not a city or a base. It was a containment and control system. The Mariana Trench, according to the AI's hypothesis, is not a natural feature. It is an artificial weak point in the Earth's crust, created intentionally. The grid itself acts as a massive energy distributor designed to regulate the immense geological pressures of the planet. To put it mildly, the AI proposed that the entire system of plate tectonics, the very process that drives earthquakes, volcanoes, and the drift of continents, is being managed by this ancient machine. It suggests that our planet is naturally far more volatile than we know and this grid has been acting as a planetary-scale safety valve for millions of years, preventing some kind of global catastrophe. The implications are almost too big to grasp. It means that our planet's history, our evolution, and the very ground beneath our feet have been controlled by an ancient, unknown intelligence. But here is the most chilling part of Triton's analysis. The energy pulses, which had been steady for weeks, were beginning to change. They were becoming weaker and more erratic. The 10 million year old machine, whatever it is, might be failing. 
There's an inherent intuition, a nagging pull at the edge of our collective consciousness that tells us the story we've been fed is incomplete. People watching the strange and disjointed events unfolding across the globe are right to look for a mystery, to search for a connecting thread that ties it all together. They are not conspiracy theorists, they are responding to a signal that has been buried for millennia. This might be the biggest mystery of all, the one that redefines everything we thought we knew. The most pressing question we should be asking is this, are we missing a key, fundamental detail about the very ground beneath our feet? The thing is, the potential answer to that question is not just a minor adjustment to our world view, it is a complete and terrifying demolition of it. This information changes our place in the universe, the grand narrative of humanity as the pinnacle of terrestrial evolution, the sole proprietors of this blue marble, collapses into dust. We aren't the first intelligent life on Earth. That is a humbling enough thought, but it goes deeper. We might not even be the most advanced. Our entire civilization, with its towering achievements and cosmic ambitions, could be nothing more than a transient culture of tenants living in a house we didn't build and could never hope to comprehend. We are, perhaps, just keeping a room warm in a world whose very stability is an artificial construct, a world that is being kept stable by a machine we can't understand. Think of it not as a device of metal and wires, but as a system woven into the very fabric of the planet, a planetary heart pumping the lifeblood of magnetic fields, a tectonic regulator maintaining a delicate, livable equilibrium. For eons, it has operated silently, its subtle hum beneath the threshold of our senses, its functions mistaken for the immutable laws of nature. We charted its effects, called them physics and geology, and never once thought to question if they were natural at all. But now that machine is breaking down. The warranty has expired. The cracks are starting to show in the facade of reality. All those strange seismic events in unusual places, the unexplained atmospheric booms that rattle windows and baffle experts, the sudden and bizarre magnetic pole shifts, the weird low-frequency hums reported by people all over the world, they suddenly stop looking like a chaotic assortment of random geological quirks. Instead, they begin to resemble the symptoms of a systemic failure, the tremors of a dying titan. Each unexplained event is a flicker of the lights, a groan from the planet's failing engines. The quiet, consistent rhythm that has governed all life on this planet is falling out of sync. This forces us to re-examine our past through a terrifying new lens. Ancient myths of creator gods who shape the lands and seas, are they merely allegories or are they the faded memories of our ancestors witnessing the machine's prime operators? The impossible engineering of forgotten civilizations, the ley lines connecting sacred sites across continents, could these be the remnants of an interface with a planetary system we have long since forgotten how to access? We have been misinterpreting the evidence for centuries, looking for gods in the sky when the true power was always terrestrial. The most terrifying question is no longer about the catalyst, but the inevitable aftermath. The why has become tragically irrelevant next to the horrifying certainty of what comes next. What if this ancient planetary machine, the silent regulator that has maintained a fragile equilibrium for eons, is not just malfunctioning, but is shutting down for good? What happens to us, the unwitting tenants, when the cosmic landlord not only abandons the property, but deliberately turns off the fundamental life support systems that have sustained our very existence? We have never known the true, untamed, and hostile state of our own world, a planet unchained from its ancient governor. For millennia, we have existed in a period of engineered grace, an artificially prolonged calm that we arrogantly mistook for the natural order. Now the subtle hum of that ancient engine is fading into oblivion and we are about to discover what reality feels like when the music finally irrevocably stops, leaving only a deafening and terrifying silence in its place. Is this ancient machine a gift from a long lost guardian or a cage built by a forgotten master? Let me know your theories below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.